Hi, welcome to DTS Decklist. So today we're going to be working on Unit 14, Installing and Maintaining Computer Hardware. And this is the second assignment. So well done if you have completed your first assignment. On this video, we're going to go through what you need to do exactly for this assignment. We'll be working on learning A and B, and for learning A and B, we will be planning the installation and maintenance of hardware in a technology system. The objectives we will be covering today are, we're going to work on the purpose. So we're going to describe the purpose and the client requirements for installing and maintaining hardware in a technology system. We're going to work on the plan. We're going to produce a plan for installing and maintaining hardware in a technology system. We're also going to be working on producing a detailed plan in report format at the end of your test plan and the reasons why alternative ideas for installing and maintaining hardware have been discarded. That's for your ends. And for the B section, the distinction section, you will need to write up a justification of the final decisions you have made. You can explain how the technology system will fulfill the stated purpose and client requirements. You will, in addition, also describe the impact of any constraints on the plan. For your introduction on here as you can see how it's laid out I have given you a sample of the introduction it's only for a guide and I have plainly written it on your, the slide as well you're gonna also include the objectives so you're gonna be writing up what you'll be doing for your P's your M's and your D's Then we're going to start off with P2. For your P2, you will describe the purpose and client requirements for installing and maintaining hardware in a technology system. So as you can see, it does work with the objectives that we have. So you need to tick these off as you go along as you think you have um, completed or understood this assessment. You will explain the purpose and the client requirements for installing, upgrading, and maintaining hardware in the finance department and the media. The final bit, you need to write up a Word document. This needs to be written professionally as this will be emailed out to the senior management team. So you need to put your thinking cap on and you need to ensure that all your grammatical and spelling errors or not included in the assessment so proofread before you submit this assessment i am not going to read this over you can clearly see it please read it and ensure that you have um, written it in your words please don't reuse this this is only a guide so as you can see on here you need to for p2 in order to pass, you need to write up the purpose and you need to write up the client requirements as well as laid out on here and on your assignment briefs as well. For your P3, you'll have a number of sections. So this is just the first bit. All you need for your P3 at the beginning, the first task, as you can see on here, you have um, four specific tasks that we're going to focus on for P3. But there are a number of sections that falls under these. For the first section, you're going to have a list of installation and maintenance activities. So all you need to do, as you can see here, you can produce, produce a listing of what you have agreed to do or the tasks that you have agreed to complete with the client. 
in terms of the installation and the maintenance um, activities. And as it continues here, I'm not going to read it out. If you watch or when you're watching the video, all the sections will be highlighted. So that's just um, the steps. So this student sample has presented a, um, a list of the steps that they'll be carrying out when they are disassembling and reassembling the computer. Continuing, this section is a description of fault finding tools and techniques. Please ensure that you give me an image of each component that you're describing. So you'll have the name of the component, then you'll have an image of the component, then you'll give a description of what that component is. This is a fault finding tools and techniques section. For this section, you will be producing a description, sorry, you'll be producing a, this section continues for, for the fault finding tools and techniques. On here, as you can see, there are a number of different um, ways that you can actually protect your computers um, or the data stored on your computer. Um, you can use antivirus software and then you can use the um, features from the OS. So you need to research this and these are just an example of how you can display this or how you can present it in the assignment. Please use your discretion and write anything you see on here. Please do it in your own words and do not copy. It's only a guide for you so you can see what you can, can and cannot do. This is the test plan. So this is very important because you need to test the components that you have installed for the client, both internal and external. So you need to plan it. So you're gonna plan what components you will be testing and you're gonna give a description of how you will be testing this. So as you can see on here, please ensure that you give me an image of the of specific component that you are testing. Good luck. For your next section, it is your M2. So you are into your merit sections. Woo, well done. So for your merit on here, I am not gonna read it out as well. I'm just giving you a description of what you need to do. You need to talk about that. So just give a detailed plan. So if you plan well in terms of your P3, it carries over into your M2. This is just a write up as to some of the things that you might have done well and what um, you might have done better. So you need to just write it up. But for your P3, the more details you put into your P3, it's better for you, um, especially when it comes on to you achieving your M2. I hope this does help. We will discuss this further in class. The final section for this video is the distinction. Well done if you're here. So now you're going to justify the purpose and the requirements. So you need to consider the client requirements. What did they ask you to do? Does it meet the requirements that they um, need to perform their task? Does it help them to work effectively? Does it help them to complete a task quickly? Does it help the organization to cut costs to improve productivity? So you need to now justify whether or not the installation and the and the maintenance is if they're able to 
help or to assist the company in doing so. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe for updates on any of our new videos. Thank you for watching and share us out and give us a like. It does help us out in the algorithm. DTS Tech Fit here. See you in my next video. Bye.